listen, you're being challenged so much because you're being invited to grow. I want you to think about that. You're being challenged so much in your life right now because you're being invited to grow. The thing that you've been looking for, you've been looking for that level up, you've been looking for that next phase of your life, but you're, you're falling victim, victim to your situation. How easy is it for us to just become a victim in our life? It's so easy. It's so easy for us to want to just give up on ourselves, stop going after what we say we want. It's so easy for us just to be so weak. Why do we do this? Why, why is that like the nature of the human to choose suffering that keeps them still, that keeps them in hell? Why do we do that? Because here's the deal. If you want to grow, you want to change your life, you're going to suffer too. But that level of suffering it has momentum involved. It has action involved. It has letting go of shit that doesn't serve you anymore involved. It has all sorts of uncomfortable things. When are you going to realize that no matter what you do, no matter which direction you go, you're going to be uncomfortable? Because if you don't move and you know you're holding yourself back, that's going to be uncomfortable. Because you're going to be like, oh my God, I'm, I have all this potential, but I'm not doing anything with it. I have all these possibilities. I have all these ideas. I have all these visions of who I want to become, but I'm not doing anything with it. You're going to fall victim to your circumstance and your surroundings. You're going to blame it on everything else but taking ownership of your life. That's how it was. When I retired from special operations back in 2018, I didn't know who I was. I didn't know what I wanted to do in my life. I didn't know anything. I hated who I saw in the mirror. I hated everything about that guy. That guy sucked. That guy was lost. He was hurt. And he hurt a bunch of people along the way. It wasn't until I knew I could change my vibration, until I knew I could like change my consciousness, to tap into consciousness, to elevate my mind, to ascend in this life, to grow and to evolve. I didn't know those things. I didn't know I could be those things. A lot of you have heard those terms before, but you're just so like turned off by them because you're like, I don't believe in that type of stuff. Well, what do you believe in? Staying the same? I mean, that is proof. But don't you want to go out there and discover more proof, more evidence of something different, something more? Because if you don't do that, <laughs> nothing in your life is going to change. And the sad thing is, here's a true sad thing. A lot of us think that we have time. A lot of us think that we have all this time in the world, but we don't. We don't. What we need to do is gain clarity in what we want. Once we have that clarity, what we must do is find the courage to go after it. then what becomes a non-negotiable is the commitment to follow through with it. This is how we change. The clarity, the courage, and the commitment. That's how we do everything. How can you apply that into your life? How can you apply those three C's in your life to change? Because the invitation is there. All that friction you're experiencing right now, <laughs> it's an invitation to change. Now here's a newsflash for a lot of you out there. It doesn't have to be bad. It doesn't have to be bad friction. It could be a bunch of great things that just aren't aligned to you anymore. But when you stay trapped in that mental loop, when you stay trapped in that system, and you don't do anything, you just kind of like just, ah, you just repeat, repeat over and over and over and over and over again. Next thing you know, it's going to be another month gone, another month gone, another month gone. Next thing you know, you'd be looking back and like, dude, where did the time fly? Well, time was always there. You just never took advantage of it because it's easy to get lost in this life. This, this, this digital world we live in nowadays, it's so easy to, to look at this screen and compare yourself to everyone else and figure out how and realize how you're just so behind the power curve and how you're just, you're just missing out on so many things and how the, you want so much more in your life. And you're like, but I don't even know where to start. I don't even know where to start. We, this is what we tell ourselves. We tell ourselves, I don't even know where to start. Dude, you can literally go to Google and type in, how did I not get depressed? How to get out of depression, how to how to overcome anxiety, how to find clarity. You could do all these things, but you don't. Because those are self 
feeding systems. You're going to have to feed yourself to operate. You're going to have to not do all the work by yourself and operate. And that's where people that's where people fall fall victim is like they're like, dude, I, this is overwhelming. I got enough shit on my plate. The 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 journey of oneself. It's a commitment. It requires everything you have. But I want to encourage you that it's not about being perfect. It doesn't mean you don't make mistakes. It doesn't mean you don't fall down. It doesn't mean you don't, you don't just like literally just botch it. It means you make progress. How I can go back in my life and, really, and, and look back at how many times I did so many dumb things that were hurtful, rude, deceitful, all these things. And it, even though I knew they weren't good for me, I still continued to do them. Because I didn't learn. Because I didn't truly believe. I didn't believe that I could change. Because it was going to be hard to let go of those programs. It was going to be hard to say no. It was going to be hard to become someone different. But that's the gift that we have. That ability to become someone different along the way and reinvent ourselves as many times as it takes. You know, I, I, I work with an energy healer. And I, I've done like past life regressions where I find blockages in my past lives and like what things that are holding me back, whether that's like my, you know, back in the day, it was like a belief system with money, um, the scarcity wrapped around it, like all these things, right? F from scarcity and abundance. And, you know, when my, my worker was working with me and she was like, basically give me like the download of like what she saw. I'm like, man. At the time, I'm like, damn, dude, I lived that crappy life. And then there was one where I lived that was really great, but it had like a horrible twist at the end. I was like, oh, that sucks. But now I ask myself today as I'm shooting this video, I'm like, I'm just reinventing myself. If there, if there are multiple lifetimes, if there are multiple everythings, multiple dimensions, multiple realms, all these things, I'm just repeating myself. And every time I repeat myself, that old me dies off and stays back in that lower vibration, that lower realm, that lower dimension as I continue to ascend. But I want you to know that it's not about being perfect. It's about just, just look at yourself in the mirror and be like, bro, dude, we got a long way to go, but I love you and I can't get to where I'm going without you. That's what it's about. It's about connecting yourself with yourself. Once you connect yourself with yourself, man, you open up all sorts of things in your life, your belief system, clarity. You find a level of courage that you've never had before. You're like, dude, today I'm actually going to do it. I'm doing it. It's not one day. It's day one. It's today. Man, if y'all go back and watch any of my videos, I've shown you. you. There's like video proof of the hell I lived in. Of the person that I was. So I want you, what I really want from you, it's two things. One, if you like this video, if you like these videos that I put out, I really, really want you to subscribe. One, I want you to change your life. Two, I made a goal to hit 100,000 subs by the end of this year. Now, that's a very big goal for me. That's a very big goal. And for to even say it on a video, I think I'm at like 23,000 subscribers right now. For me to even say that on a video, you might be thinking to yourself like, bro, get over yourself. But why? Why would I not voice what I want? Why would I not put out into the universe what I actually want to seek in this life? Why wouldn't I tell you, someone who can literally help me accomplish my goals and my dreams, why wouldn't I tell you what I want, what I want to achieve, what I want to accomplish? Why wouldn't I share that with you? Now, I want you to ask the same thing about yourself. What about those things in your life that you're just not sharing with people? You're not even telling people that you love those goals that you have because you're worried about being judged or thinking that your your goal, your dream is too big. Bro, if your goal and dream is too small and that's the measure of people you want to hang out with, you're hanging out with the wrong people. I want you to put out just outlandish, overzealous things. I want you to strive for it. I want you to keep on reinventing yourself as many times as it takes for you to become the person to go achieve that shit. That's the thing, man. That's all I want from you. I want you to change your fucking life. I want you to become the best version of yourself. I want you to get out of your head. And if life is just great for you, everything's just crushing, I want you to keep on going. Because there's people that you need to help. There's people out there that need to hear what you have to say. And maybe you haven't tapped into that network yet. Maybe you haven't tapped into that source yet. 
what a gift we have in this life to to experience so many things so many things and i mean dude i'm shooting this video from actually i'm shooting this video from germany i'm in germany right now seeing my my son uh but you know in this life and especially back home in America, I, we can pull out a phone and we have internet or, or camera and we can start shooting a video and post on the YouTube. Like what a gift to be able to go do that. But people don't, but they want to, but they're not doing it. People want to change their life. They can, but they won't do it. They won't go seek the help. They won't go take the investment and put it into themselves. They won't go do that because they're scared. They're not scared of the outcome of becoming someone different. They're, they're scared of the courage that's going to take and what's required for them to begin their journey but don't you see that by just investing to yourself by 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 taking that first step you're you're already proving to yourself that you can you know it's crazy today i saw my son um i'll shoot another video about this but uh i'm interacting with my son uh for the first time in seven years well not the fir first time in person in seven years uh not first time interacting with him and there's like this little obstacle course at the beach we're at today or the, like the pond, lake, whatever. And he starts to climb and he gets to the top and he begins to swing his, his leg over and he's like scared. He's like super scared. He does not like heights at all, right? And he begins to swing his leg over and he stops and he kind of like freezes for a bit and he crawls back down. And he like walks his way back down. I'm like, bro, what are you doing, man? You're, you're right there. He's like, no, I don't want to. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm like, hey, let me show you. So I climb up there and I showed him, showed him. And instead of me just like crushing it, I like, hey, three points of contact. This is how we would climb up this thing, all this type of stuff. And then I'm like, wait a second. You're scared and programmed to not do the whole thing. But what if we change the program? What if we reprogram the program, right? So I asked my son, like, hey, would you be open to, do you think that you can go all the way to the top and just move your foot around the top of the log and just tap it on the other side then bring it back and then climb back down do you think you could do that and he's like yeah i think i could do that so he goes over there and he does just that and he comes back down we go swimming for a little bit like a couple hours we come back and without hesitation he just hit the same like obstacle climbed up and over i was like whoa that's crazy what if you just started what if you instead of trying to attack this big obstacle in your life what if you just made the first step and then what if you didn't pass or succeed what if you re-engaged it and all your focus was was just to gain terrain what was that that was just your focus just gain terrain one more step one more step towards what you actually want in this life what if you did that how would your life look that's what i want to leave you with these 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 two things one like this video subscribe and share help people out man when you give, you get. People out there need, need, need your help. They need you to send this video. They need you to step up. And the last thing I'm going to leave you with is just take the step. You do not build confidence without starting. You can't overcome fear until you face fear. After my kid climbed over this obstacle, he literally did it three more times back to back to back. He's like a machine. That fear face wasn't even there anymore because now he knows that it was just him and he overcame it. What do you know is just you that you can overcome right now?